Did you ever lose your keys, my friend? I lost my keys the other day and looked all over my house, trying to find them. We turned all the couch cushions upside down. We looked in all the places as my keys might be. Unfortunately, I was running late for an appointment. I thought I would call my beautician and tell her I was running late, but I couldn't find my phone either. I was lost. I couldn't find my keys, I couldn't find my phone, and I was running late. As I frantically searched my home, I thought I'd enter the garage and look for my keys in my car. I looked inside my car, and they were on the passenger seat. What were my keys and my phone doing there? I must have left them there when I used my car last night. I quickly drove to my appointment with the beautician and arrived a few minutes late. When I shared the story with my beautician, she just laughed. She asked me if my parents had ever told me I would lose my head if it weren't attached. I asked her why she wanted to know. She said without your head, I couldn't do your hair. We all lose things occasionally, don't we, my friend? We need to try and remember God as often as possible. I do things every day to try and keep God before me. I'm in a Bible study that requires daily reading. I do daily prayers and meditation. I do everything to keep God before me. The reality is that I do things to try to see the future that God is preparing for me. When we forget God, we lose the past and the future because God is our hope. Do you ever forget God, my friend? If you occasionally forget God, what do you do to help remember God? Luckily, God doesn't forget us, my friend. Hope does not exist without God. You cannot exist without God's hope. Such is the destiny of all who forget God, so perishes the hope of the godless. Job 8 verse 13. Hope stands between the believer and death. Death of the body may occur, death of the mind may happen, but most assuredly, the desperate death of the soul will totally consume you. Hope is the indomitable part of the human spirit I have placed in my children. Hope stands firm when the body crumbles. Hope will talk the mind into facing unmeasurable odds. Hope lifts the human spirit when the world smashes it underfoot. I have placed my divine hope in the deepest center of your mind, body, and spirit. Hope is the tiniest fragment of your DNA. My hope is always present lest you forget it. No one should struggle with the belief of whether or not I exist. I exist, therefore, you exist. Your destiny is marked with the hope I have given you. Do not fear the future. Just as your life is a gift, your future is a blessing from me. Do not fear the unknown or uncertain. When my children fail to find me, they will also fall short of their future hope. I cannot impress upon you the reality that I bear the name of, Hope. The Savior knew this far before he entered the tomb of death. When you remember me in your prayers and worship me with your heart and soul, you will always have hope. The day you forget about me and no longer honor me in your heart is the day you will lose all hope. I believe that God places a tiny essence of spiritual love in each person before we are born. That essence of love remains with us throughout our lives. If we cling to God's love, we will remember and honor God. When we forget God, we tend to lose our way in life, and all hope for the future. What do you think, my friend? Do you think God places a part of himself in each soul before they are born? May I please pray for you, my friend? Loving God we pray that you will spark that tiny essence of love in each and every soul on this earth. We pray that those struggling with life issues will remember that you love them. We pray that those who are lost and alone will remember that you are their God. We pray for those who cling too tightly to earthly treasures that you have placed riches in heaven for them. 
We pray for those who need to find guidance and help and encourage them to remember that all they have to do is pray to you. And we pray for those who feel unloved. We ask that you help them remember that you love them. In the name of the Father who created us, the Son who saved us, in the Holy Spirit who dwells within us, we pray and say Amen. There you have it, my friend, another devotional. I enjoy our time together but am sad when it ends. I pray that during our time apart, you will remember that what you receive from us is a loving gift from God. We should never forget God, because there is nothing closer to us than the Spirit of God. Go in peace, my friend, and remember that God loves you.